Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabrielle and today we're gonna learn how to paint flowers using oil paints in five easy steps. What do you even need to get started? Obviously, you need a canvas. I have a five by seven super tiny canvas that is like a canvas board that I really like to use for these types of paintings. If you have a fresh bouquet of flowers, obviously that's like the best way to learn how to paint or draw is a physical representation of that object. But today I'm just gonna be using Pinterest. And here I typed in Moody Bouquet and this is one of my favorite ones that I found. So the brush I'm using is a round number two bristle based brush. I also really like to use a palette knife for mixing. Today I'll be using linseed oil and you can pick that up at your local art store. Typically I use this to smooth out the paint and make it very like easy to work with. This right here is my glass palette. I love this to death. I have a razor blade to clean off and scrape off the oil paint. And then I have a whole range of oil paints that I really enjoy and we can go over that in detail. Step number one, determine the proportions of your painting. Outline the general shapes of your flowers and leaves. I would suggest picking a very neutral color like burnt sienna, dilute it down with linseed oil and kind of just sketch out those general shapes so that later on when you want to add color, it's super easy to blend and you don't have anything overpowering as just your basic sketch layer. Step number two, outline the leaves and petals of your bouquet. I love using alizarin crimson for flowers. It's quinacridone red, it's such a beautiful pigment. Peach is, gonna, is a warmer, Color, so you're going to use this cadmium red hue, white, and yellow a little bit. I would suggest using the mid-tone color for each of your flowers and leaves so that you can add highlights and shadows later on. So the greens that I use for the leaves are a mix of sap green and patho green, and the warm tone greens use sap green white and yellow for the shadow you just add a little bit of ultramarine blue and mix that with the green for the cooler tone leaves which are the eucalyptus leaves i use a tiny bit of patho green sap green ultramarine blue a lot of white more blue so this is the color of the cool tone leaves. And then to make a darker version, a darker shade of this, I just add more blue. Step number three, add shadows and highlights. This is really important if you want to create depth in your artwork and make it seem more realistic. So if you can see there's a pattern here, there's like your mid-tone, your highlight, and your shadow here. It's like your mid-tone, your highlight, your shadow. Your mid-tone, your highlight, your shadow. Step number four, fill in your background. For this painting, I went with a really dark blue. I am trying to create a moody vibe with this artwork and I wanted to make the flowers pop. Step number five, add detail. I usually wait a day to go back in and let the paint kind of settle and maybe become like halfway dry. That way when I add the highlights and create even darker shadows, it doesn't all blend together and get muddy. Thank you. 
All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope this was helpful. Please leave any questions you have in the comments. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.